I don't know if you remember this really early on. Uh, we got there and, and, you know, we're working 10, 12 hours, hours a day opening to close. Yep. And, and we, as you're going to talk about, we did some things to keep our energy levels high there and whatnot. And all legal, nothing crazy like no. that. But uh, I remember distinctly like we would see at the people that had been there kind of it's kind of like i remember like going to the wwe when all the nxt when we first got up there like they had the roster up there of yes. guys that had been around each other for a while they smoky bones had their roster essentially sure. uh, of all these people that had been together for quite a while and i remember we would always hear them talking about hanging out at night yeah the stories and like they all oh, we got so fucked up last night and this and, this. and we, we would go what losers they all had like to, like we just couldn't fathom it and then eventually as you're gonna find out we were those you're gonna losers. see the big guy singing fucking the titanic theme fucking drunk and down and out later on uh in which you have a picture still i believe i, I, I remember I still have it on my phone somewhere but we we were clearly hanging out with them each and every night just like they were good people they, they, they were awesome yeah, people yeah, yeah. but it was just funny how we went in there and like we're too, we're too cool for we, school. We, we just i think it's too as part of it you hang wrestlers hang out with wrestlers yeah, yeah, yeah. and to us it was like oh we're we're, we're still wrestlers but we're not civilians. Like yeah. This. I call and them civilians. I was friends. a full-blown civilian by the end of yeah. that. <laughs> so uh, uh, there would be many long... and Yeah, we, but one, nonetheless, we did really... We worked hard, and we'd work double shifts, absolutely. partly because of, of a scam I'm going to introduce in a minute. Um, but we found that we were both... We're both big coffee guys. Mm -hmm. you know, we even had a couple... St before we started drinking wine and beer right now... Uh, I love coffee. I love uh, black coffee, espressos. Yeah, I'll drink decaf um, if I'm because I got my pre workout and everything now. But like today, I've had several coffees today, just coming in and on four hours sleep. So I need to have a little energy for yeah, this. So I'm big, big coffee guys. And we also found that we would, uh, a lot of times at work, you know, we, we could pretty much, we were allowed to drink whatever we wanted to drink as yeah. far as like, you know, if you want to. They have their limits on food or they were supposed to, as you'll find out. But which is, okay, we'll get right into that after. Um, so. <laughs> With the coffee, uh, which were, you know, when you work at a restaurant, you have these big industrial coffee things, a giant bag of coffee that you put into the maker, you close the lid, you press the button. I don't, I don't even remember if we fill it with water. We might. Yeah, uh, you know, you fill it, you, you, you put it with water and, you know, typically you put the one coffee bag in there mm -hmm. and, and, you know, you brew your pot of coffee. But that was, and we, we realized, you know, this is pretty normal coffee, gets a good buzz. What if we put two bags in there? I've always been about more. And then we're like, <laughs> let's put fucking three bags in. So pretty much we get triple caffeinated, like strong coffee, and you and I would just drink and it. And our sole purpose of this was just for us to, we just loved the energy. We just and, want the buzz. And like, I, like again, I'm there morning to night. You're there morning. Sometimes you had to go wrestle after mm -hmm. and whatnot. I was working full time, not wrestling for quite a while there leaving on my lunch break to go work out having more caffeine and like drinking a speed stack or something at the time and we were just dripping in sweat yeah fucking serving walking tables. heart attacks and we're, <laughs> and but most people at the barbecue joint they wouldn't all we were also we get away with it too because we didn't serve breakfast we only opened at 11 a.m so most people did not or, order coffee however we started getting a little scared because the old ladies would come in for lunchtime, yeah. and they'd want their cup of coffee. That was always the coffee crowd was at lunchtime. Yep. And when Can we, I get some pulled pork brisket and a large coffee? And when we get them coffee, and we'd see these old ladies go, oh, that's, that's strong coffee. And like uh, we were concerned, like, fuck, they're going to keel over. That was never our, We never thought about that because <laughs> it was just we would make this coffee, and nobody was drinking it. And then we started like, I remember, I think, I think you get like, I, I just gave this old lady a triple strength coffee <laughs> and I was like, oh, and then it like, didn't really think about this part of it. Like <laughs> we're serving this stuff. And it was like, I don't think it stopped us. I think we might've went down to two bags after to try yeah. to like, oh, well, two is going to be fine, but.